Well, hello again. Welcome to another program of Today with Ward. I am Ward Simpson, your host, CEO of God TV. And I want you to know, friends, it's my privilege, it's an honor to be able to sit here and look at this camera and know that I'm coming into your homes and into your lives. We at God TV salute you. We bless you. We love you. And we pray for you. It is such an honor and privilege to be able to partner with you as we take this gospel message of the kingdom of God to the ends of the earth. You know, every week on Today with Ward, I always introduce you to a guest. We always have a time of a ministry. We always pray that God do something in your life. You'll hear testimonies uh, behind the scenes of God TV. Sometimes we introduce you to employees. This is family time. This is the time where we as a family get together and we just share what God is doing. And today, my friends, is a very, very special day. Last week, if you missed the program, we had Robert Henderson with us, the author of the book, Courts of Heaven. What an amazing time we had. And I encourage you, I urge you to go to our on-demand section of our website at God.tv and take a look at that program. Robert Henderson, he has a revelation from God and he brings it to you from the Word. It's not made up. It's not a dream. It's a revelation God has gave him that he'll show you from the Word of God how there are times that we need to go before the righteous judge. You know, Jesus taught us to pray. Sometimes we pray to Father. Sometimes we pray to our friend. And there are times we have to go to the judge. When we go to the judge, friends, it's business. Today, we hope to take you right there into the courts of heaven. There's a situation in your life right now that needs to be dealt with in the spiritual so that you can see the right result here on earth in the physical. Are you excited? Are you happy? Well, stay tuned as uh, you get to be with me and my dear friend, Robert Henderson. Also on God TV, you know we have a number of programmers, a number of shows that we bring you every day. And uh, every Wednesday at 9.30, there's a ministry. Her name is Sandra Kennedy. And she brings you her program on Wednesdays. And we want to encourage you to watch that. Because every program that we bring your way, we believe God is using the program or the ministry to speak into your life. So take a look at this little video about Sandra. And then we'll be right back. Exciting. I'm waiting on you to take you into the courts of heaven. Watch this. Look at your neighbor and say, healing's not a feeling. We're not trying to feel something tonight. We're trying to know something. There's a difference in knowing and feeling. So you're trying to know something tonight. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can do this. I can do that. And then you I don't care nothing. Your faith should be that your God has already beat this stupid devil. And that your faith should be that your God has already made you the head and not the tail. Your faith should be saying to you, we can win this because it's been won. Your faith should be saying, this did not come to stay. This is passing through because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I have had medical problems. I have been diabetic for 22 years with all the side effects and all the tiredness and all the hopelessness and a uh, very low quality of life. I think I can safely say that this is the most useful seven days of my life in recent times. I have learned so much. I, I, it's been amazing. The first thing that struck me here is that the people leave what they preach. There's so much of talk out there. Say one thing, do something else. But here I found that the people are actually leaving and that impacted me so much. It made me very interested in what they were teaching me. And I sat down and listened and I've learned so much.
Well, that was a little video on Sandra Kennedy every Wednesday at 9.30. Now, from Sandra Kennedy, let me tell you why we do the things that we do. Friends, there's never a moment, there's never a day that I can't watch or hear, or find out about a testimony where my heart's not stirred. That's why we do what we do. God is touching lives, transforming lives. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is still the answer for the world today. And it is our high privilege to be able to get up every day and say, yes, sir, to the calling that God has on God TV. God bless you, friends. We're so happy that you've joined us. Robert, I'm so privileged that you're here again today to talk about the courts of heaven. Last week was an amazing program. And, and uh, again, I want to encourage you, if you didn't see it, to go to our on-demand section and watch it. But for those that missed it, maybe, uh, are, so they're now watching today's program for the first time. Can you give them a little, a little um, highlight summary? Of, yeah, absolutely. Of, you know, when we talk about the courts of heaven, we're talking about a legal dimension in the spirit. Yeah. Uh, when you actually discover this, you find out that the Bible is a legal book. Yes. I mean, it's even broken up in Old and New Testament Amen. because that, that's, those are legal terms. Amen. And so Jesus, when he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. And that meant every legal requirement that was necessary for God to reclaim the earth and, and his inhabitants back to himself was now met. And so, so even the cross was a legal a transaction that occurred. So everything's legal in the spirit realm. So Jesus put prayer in three dimensions in the book of Luke, approaching God as father, mm -hmm. as friend, but then as judge. Yes. And, and judges rule judicial systems. And in Daniel chapter 7, verse 10, the Bible says the court, the court of heaven was seated and the books were open because Daniel saw into the spirit world and realized there was an actual court that was operating that was determining the activity on the earth. Because when you go into Daniel 7, 25, it's quite interesting. It says that the Antichrist spirit mm -hmm. is ruling mm -hmm. and he's having authority over the earth. And it says, but the court was seated and took away his dominion. Wow. So one verdict from the court mm -hmm. actually removed the dominion of the Antichrist spirit Spirit and Antichrist and reestablish the saints as being in charge mm. by one verdict from the court. That's the power of the court. If we can go before that very court and stand and present our case, then God will answer us and we can see divine order come to our situation. So I like visuals. Yes. And that's how I, I, I always have visuals when, I, when I'm doing things. So even when you led me through the the prayer and going, I had my own visual. Mm -hmm. But what visual do you have when you're talking about this? Is this a real court in session or is this something just in I, the spirit? I believe it's a real court okay. in the spirit world because, because right. um, again, we have picture. I believe anytime you read about the throne of God, which yes. is many, many times in scripture, yes. you're not just reading about a place of worship, you're reading about a place of judicial activity. That's good. Because, because in, in Revelation 5, there's one sitting on the throne, and what happens? When the seals are let off the book, mm -hmm. judgments, which are judicial activities, judgments came out of that book and began to reclaim the earth back to God's purposes. Wow. That, see, I think that the book of Revelation is about courtroom activity and judgments coming out of the court, allowing God the right to reclaim the earth, because that's, that's what's actually happening in Revelation, because when it's all said and done, there's a new heaven and there's a new earth, and there's God's perfect kingdom that's established there. Well, so God is making, continually making judgments. Is that right? Yes. Yes, I, I believe that, that based on our prayers and, and based on us coming before the Lord, for instance, in Zechariah chapter 5, Zechariah sees a flying scroll. I mean, he says there was a flying scroll. And on one side, and, and by the way, mm -hmm. they, were, they were warring for, for um, and contending for full restoration. Mm -hmm. And it was at a standstill in those days. And so Zechariah sees this scroll in, in Zechariah 5. And on one side is a judgment against thieves. 
and on the other side is a judgment against perjurers. Well, the two things that were stopping the restoration process was that lies had been told to the king if he let this city be rebuilt, that they would rebel. So he had issued a decree based on those lies. That was perjurers. But then the people of God had taken the resources that God had sent back to rebuild things with and had built their own houses instead. Mm -hmm. And so that was thievery. Right. So God is releasing scrolls out of heaven, which were actually verdicts mm. that had come out of the courts based on the prayers wow. of Zechariah and others. They had come out of the courts. And now these, these judgments, these verdicts mm. need to be landed into place so that the rest, so that everything that's resisting restoration is judged and moved out of the way so God's will could be done in the earth. Wow, 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 wow. So listen, um, let me tell you what happened last week as well in case you missed it. Robert had a situation with his daughter, and um, he had to take that situation to the courts of heaven so that the judgment could be rendered in the spirit. So when he got to the physical court, the decision had already been made. And, and the attorney was baffled. Absolutely. Yeah, the judge said, whatever my daughter wants, that's what we're going to do. I mean, who says such a thing? But wow. this judge said those very words, and her attorney was flabbergasted that, that any judge would say that. And so my daughter actually determined what, what, what the situation would that's be. A, that's a good example of on earth as it is in heaven. That's right. That that's right? right. Absolutely. So when we're praying that, is that, is that? Oh, I believe that. Okay. I believe that, that, that we, that we were able to shift things and, and we have seen, we have seen, I mean, many, many legal cases where, where we were able to get verdicts in the court of heaven that then were implemented in the natural court. Well, how about that? How about that, yeah. friends? Do you need a judgment rendered on your behalf? Obviously, it has to be a righteous judgment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> so, it, has to, it has to be in agreement with God's amen. will. Amen. But, but there's an enemy, there's, a, there's an adversary that is a legal opponent right. that's actually wanting his will to be done. Right. But when we know how to take the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. and silence that, then, then, then all of that is removed out of the way so what God wants can actually be, be a reality. Wow. So listen, this is what we're going to do in a moment. In our second segment... Robert Henderson is going to lead you in prayer through this whole process like he did with me. I am uh, not keeping him to myself, friends. <laughs> I am sharing him with you. Uh, we took some things before the court of heaven last week, and uh, we believe that God rendered judgment. And the prophetic words came afterwards, and the ministry time, it, it was a... It was just an amazing time, Robert. God used you in a powerful way. So we want to do the same thing with our viewers. So uh, we're going to throw to a video in a minute, but just set that up so when we come back, tell them what they need to be thinking about okay. during this break. Any situation that's in your life that you've been praying and praying and praying about, but there's been no change, and maybe even things have gotten worse, if that's a situation and it's, it's in agreement with God's Word, then there's something legal resisting you. I want to help you get that legal thing moved out of the way in the spirit. I'm talking about legal in the spirit, moved out of the way in the spirit so that God's answer can come because his passion is to see your breakthrough come. He wants it more than you do. We're going to help you do that here in just a moment. Wow, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes, you are. I know. Uh, watch this video and uh, we'll be right back to take you to the courts of heaven. For faith, lifestyle, music, and more, visit the God TV blog. Read articles that inform, challenge, and encourage. Watch insightful videos and enjoy discussion and debate with the God TV community. With no subject off limits, the God TV blog is a robust and thought provoking online environment. Visit blog.god.tv today. If you only just tuned in, you're in for a great surprise, a great blessing. Um, our guest is Robert Henderson. He's the author of the book, Courts of Heaven. And uh, Robert, over to you, my friend. Well, thank you. You know, one thing that I would say, first of all, to, to the viewers is that what we do, we, we need to do it in faith. In other words, don't just go through a religious motion 
as much as you can in your spirit to say, Lord, I am just really stepping into a realm of faith to do this. But before we pray, Isaiah 43, 25 through, 40, uh, 25 through 28, Isaiah 43, 25 through 28, is actually, can actually be a step-by-step process of going into the court. It says that, it says that God, for His sake, would blot out our transgressions and remember our sins no more. What does that mean? That means that God doesn't just forgive us because He loves us. He forgives us because He needs us. Because it says that He will blot out our transgression, remember our sins more. And then He says, put me into remembrance. What does that mean? That means God's saying, tell me what I wrote about you. Tell me what I've thought about you and remind me of my promises to you. Put me in remembrance. Let us contend together. And I'm going to come through this in just a moment. That means he and I together are going to contend against the adversary. And then he says this, state your case that you may be acquitted. Okay, in other words, present your case. This is all about presenting a case. And then he says this, for your first father's sin. Okay, that's bloodline. In other words, there are issues in our bloodlines that the enemy uses to build cases against us. And then he says, and your mediators have transgressed. That means the ones who had the right to present cases had sin operating in their life that was undealt with. And then he says this, and because of all this, it says Jacob is under a curse. Israel is under a reproach, and your princes are profaned. In other words, a nation is being lost because there's no one found that has a right to stand in the courts of heaven. I'm going to help you have the right to stand there right now, okay? So just say these words. Say, Lord Jesus, even as I come before you and I come before your courts, I thank you that I am accepted here because of the blood of Jesus. I thank you for that. And I thank you, Lord, that all of my sins and all of my transgressions and even all the iniquities associated with my bloodline that the enemy would use as a right to resist me. Lord, I want to ask that because of the blood of Jesus that those rights are revoked and removed right now. In Jesus' name. Now, if you're sensitive, you can feel the presence of God right there because we've just stepped into the courts and He's accepting us. And let me just say this. One of the things I do when I'm in the courts is I do this. I say, Lord, I present my body a living sacrifice to you. And I just make myself available. So just say that. Lord, I present myself a living sacrifice before you. And I let you examine me and search out anything in me that the enemy might use to resist me. So just before the Lord, just, just quieten yourself. And anything He brings to your mind, uh, a sin or, 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 or a, a thought. See, sometimes when I'm praying, here's what happens. I'll hear this little nagging thought in the back of my head. That's actually the accuser accusing you. He's telling you all the reasons why God's not going to answer your prayers. So somebody says, well, just ignore it. No, don't ignore it. Repent of it. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for this thing. I repent of this. I'm asking that I would be forgiven for this thing. And, and I promise you, when you do that and ask for the blood of Jesus, according to Hebrews 12, 24, to speak for you, that accusation will be silenced. It will be removed because that's what the blood of Jesus is for. It gives God the legal right to forgive you. So, Lord, we thank you right now that we are forgiven because of the blood. Because the Lord just speaking, some of you feel so very unworthy. Some of you feel so unworthy. Look, right now, take all of that, all the reason you feel unworthy, and just say, God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that which I've done. I'm so sorry for that which I've allowed. Would you just cleanse me right now? Because you don't have any real faith that God's going to answer you. Just tell Him, Lord, let your blood cleanse me. Please, Lord, forgive me right now because of what your Son has done. And, and you'll, you'll feel that unworthiness. You'll feel that condemnation began to lift off of you. And you'll feel real faith starting to come up on the inside of you because, because you're actually believing. You're actually believing now. So, Lord, I just thank you for doing that. Okay, now that we've got that done, ask God, ask God for what you want. Maybe it's a son or a daughter to come back. Maybe it's a financial breakthrough. Maybe it, it, it's a promise God's given you because you bring your promises before the courts of heaven. And you begin to say, Lord, let this which I've been carrying, let this prophetic promise I've been carrying, let it come to pass. You know, even here at God TV, Lord, we just ask for God TV to have the effect that God wants it to have in the nations, that it would be used as a dynamic 
tool. Lord, even a sickle of harvest. I see it as a sickle of harvest going into the harvest of the nations. Let God TV, Lord, on in every medium, TV and social medias and every Lord, let it be that sickle that's let down in the harvest right now. Begin just to ask God. See, you have personal things. Ask Him for those things. But as I'm sitting on the God TV set, I'm just saying, Lord, let this sickle, let this sickle, let, 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 let God TV be a part of the billion soul harvest that's been prophesied by the prophets. Let that be a reality in the earth. So now we see what we just did. We just presented a case before the Lord. But you began to ask him for something. You, you presented a petition before the Lord. Okay, here's what happens. The moment you present a petition, the accuser that I told you about will stand up and begin to bring an accusation. Now, we've already dealt with some stuff, but let's say, for instance, it can be issues in your bloodline because I've had to deal with these. So let me just lead you in that prayer. Say this, say, Lord, as I'm standing before your courts, any case the enemy is bringing against me, I repent of it, and I ask according to Colossians 2.14 that every handwriting of ordinance, which is the case, every handwriting of ordinance against me Lord, let it be taken out of the way, nailed to your cross. I thank you that it was nailed to your cross and that the enemy has no right to use this against me because the blood is speaking for me and, and, and the sacrifice of Jesus is, is, has been released to silence that. Okay, so now we're silencing that, okay? So now we're asked, we've asked the Lord for something. Now we've silenced every accusation that would be against us. Okay, well, here's what I, here's, and I'm doing this, you know, fairly fast. Here's what I do. I say, okay, now, Lord, let, let the verdict be released. So just say this. Say, Lord, we ask for the verdict to come out of the courts and let the verdict just be released right now in Jesus' name. Thank you. I just so sense the presence of the Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your presence just moving over your people. I decree breakthrough. I decree breakthrough into your people's lives. I say that even as the scrolls released in the days of Zechariah, I say breakthrough is now coming. Scrolls are being released. There is judgments coming against that which has stood in the way of your breakthrough. And I say there is a full manifestation of healing of, of, of every situation, of family situations coming to divine order. I say in the name of Jesus, the verdicts of God are coming from the courts of heaven right now. And I say receive them even into your life and be blessed, be blessed and satisfied in the name of Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. Praise God. Woo. I was making notes as you were doing that. <laughs> Friend, wasn't that great? Come on. Praise God, Robert. Thank you. Always my Thank privilege. you for doing that for us. And, and friends, listen, go to Robert's website. Uh, call him, text his, not text him, but <laughs> go to his website, click on it. It's on the screen right now. Uh, let him know how much you were encouraged to buy this and, and, and let him know how much this meant to him and support him with everything that you do. It's our God TV family. Robert, that was great. Thank, Thank you, you for doing it's that. It's good to be here. Friends, we, we, uh, whew, we're excited for you that God just rendered judgment on your behalf. Yes. And would you please send us the testimonies? Would you please let us know what God's done through this program? It will richly encourage Robert and it will me also. Robert, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Warren. It's good to be here. Listen, we're taking our um, folks to Israel. Hope you can join us. Will you join us? Take a look at this. Our heart is to see your life change, to see your life transformed, to be here for God to do something in you and for you. I came knowing that God was going to do something amazing, but it's indescribable, the experiences, the feelings, the sensations, the sights, it's walking in the Bible. I wanted to experience the Lord. I wanted to feel His presence. I wanted to be amongst His children. In the new covenant, 
anybody that chooses to come to God, male, female, Jew, Gentile, slave or free, can enjoy the presence of God. God superseded any expectation that I could possibly could have had. Just being able to see and walk on the path that Jesus walked on, it was very surreal and it was a very amazing experience. On behalf of the children of Big Sean, we just say thank you, God TV. When you have a heart for Israel and when you begin to intercede like the Apostle Paul for Israel, then it will come to pass that all Israel will be saved. Coming here and uh, seeing the people and seeing the land, and this is the Bible brought to real living. It. It's an amazing place and it's everything and more than it. I expected. Seeing, you know, the reality of the word coming alive, it has been absolutely wonderful. God raised him up and gave him the name that is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Robert, we've come to the end of the program. Your final thoughts? Well, I just was sitting here and I really felt the Lord whisper to me, cancel every assignment against God TV. God. God TV has a destiny and the enemy hates it. Obviously, yes. we know that. But I say in the name of Jesus, any and every legal right the enemy has tried to exert against God TV, I say because of what's been done in private and even publicly that those rights are now canceled. I actually land the scrolls, even as in the days of Zechariah, I land the scrolls and I say that there is judgment against every assignment and those things will no longer withhold or, or restrict God TV from coming into the destiny that God has ordained. And I release this ministry into the full blessing of God, the full blessing blessing of God for this time and season in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Wow. Amen. Would you say amen with us all over the world? Uh, would you agree with us right now? Every curse, everything, every, everything that has come and raised his ugly head against God TV is canceled yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Robert, thank you for doing thank that. You. And friends, thank you for being a part of Today with Ward. Thank you for viewing today. I really hope that today's program encouraged you, blessed you, and touched you in a powerful way. So, again, until next week, remember, please tell somebody about Jesus. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.